So I'm back here in my makeshift studio, trying to get things up and going for the paint job on the body. I've been dying to get to this point and I'm finally here. Got a couple of things that I'm fighting, but we're gonna get through it. So this is the best I can get, you know, for the HKS layout. There's not a lot of pictures. So I basically had to invert the image so I can copy the graphics on the other side. And I know that it's not exactly symmetrical. I know that there's some variations on either side of the car for the HKS graphics. So on this side, I made it a little bit different. I put my touch to it and I like it better than the original layout for the HKS. I think I got better taste. So let me just get this out the way so I can show you what we got. So this is one side. Now I can't put anything on the hood because it's supposed to stay clear. So this is copying exactly the way it is on the images. And there wasn't anything back here, but I had to put something because I don't want to leave the roof just plain. So this is my design right here. That's also my design. This is the same design inverted, but I put my own spin on it, put my own angles on it, and I like it better. Same thing with this one here. So this is the bright teal, and this is the hot pink. And I can't put any graphics here either. And I'll tell you why, when you guys see what I'm doing with this section here, your eyes are gonna pop out of your sockets. Wait until you see it. I wanna tell you because, you know, the forum really is helping me get likes and views and subscriptions on my channel and stuff, but we'll, we'll get to that point. I just don't want nobody to one-up me and win rig of the month before I get to do it and then I don't get voted rig of the month because somebody did something before I did. So once again, this is the hot pink one. Right, so let me zoom this in. The thing is, the hot pink is above the purple and the teal is above the purple. So right now, the only graphics that I'm drawing out is the teal and the hot pink. I don't want to draw anything for the purple because when I go to paint this, I don't want to accidentally put the, get the colors wrong. So I'm going to paint the teal and I'm going to paint the hot pink. And then I'll come back and I'll draw the graphics for where the purple goes and I'll paint the purple and that way I don't make any mistakes. Now I ordered this sticker set from eBay. I'm not even gonna mention the guy's name because he, he called me uh, a picky bitch for telling him that the stickers are out of focus and they're out of focus. This is not out of focus. These are a little more in focus. These HKS ones right here. <laughs> it's, look, it's not, it looks like my phone's not focusing, but it's out of focus. And I'm pissed off because I bought these specifically for the HKS stickers that go right here. I'm not gonna use Toyota, nothing with Toyota. I'm not gonna use Yokomo, not Panasonic. I'm not using any of that. The only thing that's any good to me are these stickers and they're out of focus. Now, they came in an envelope that had a sticker on it that said fragile. That fragile sticker was 10 times higher resolution than the $15 sticker sheet that I paid for, which was out of focus, and I had to pay $5 shipping. Who charges $5 shipping for a sticker sheet that ships in the US? So I got my money back and he was disrespectful and inappropriate. He was like calling me out and I was like, you know what, I'll make a video on YouTube and I'll put you on blast and I'll tell everybody that your sticker sheet isn't for picky bitches. He's like, I don't give a rat's ass, so. I might just put them on blast later. So I found somebody else that had these HKS sticker sheets that were less money. I paid, I paid $2.75 for these two stickers 
with free shipping. And this jerk charged me $15 with five twenty dollars just for to be able to use just these two HKS stickers that are out, that are out of focus. You can see my cutting mat is in focus and the stickers are blurred out. So these are, they're a little bit too small, but they're out of focus. So the hell with him. And then these I got for an amazing deal. But they're too big and it's going to cover all the artwork and it doesn't even fit. And it's going to block this section, which is going to be another one of the highlights. As much as much of a highlight as the engine bay is going to be, that's basically going to be the focal point. What I'm doing right here on this section on both sides is going to be another focal point. So this car is going to be bad to the bone when I'm done with it. Bad to the bone is going to be. If anybody knows where I can get HKS stickers, Jesus man, that that aren't too big or too small and that aren't out of focus that I can use to put here, please help me out, man. If you make stickers or, you know, can share this video for someone that makes stickers to help me out, could really use the help, man. This project has been like, what, three months already? So, here are my colors. Damn, I was afraid that was gonna happen. These are my colors. These are the colors I'm gonna use. my purple that's my teal and this is what I'm using for the hot pink which is a fluorescent red now I have hot pink right here but this is not good quality paint because it peels off and it scratches really easily even if I mix it with um, acrylic medium to help solidify and harden it, it's still, it's still not that great of a quality. The Liquitex Basics is really good. I've already done demos on Lexan without scuffing it and with scuffing it with the 3000 grit. This is the 3M 3000 grit DA sanding sponge that I'm gonna be using. So I cut this in half, you know, I can even cut it in quarters and I'm just going to scuff this body, you know, like with under running water. I'm going to have to mask off my windows and my headlights and I'm going to scuff it. And it's so fine, like it doesn't leave scratches. It just leaves enough of a haze and a consistent haze at that. A nice haze for this paint to grab onto. So I tested the um, Liquitex Basics acrylic, acrylic, excuse me, acrylic paint on the Lexan and I also tried it with um that's my airbrush kit right there I have like I got um I got pearl colors metallic colors I got wicked colors the Createx um forget what they are airbrush colors uh, anyway man so I tried them both and they're just as strong they they bite really good so this color this is this color right here and then this is the same color mixed with gold. Here's my gold. Mixed with gold to give it some iridescence, but all it really did is make it turn a little bit yellow and lighten it up. And it's got some iridescence to it. And here it is on the Lexan. So this is what it looks like. Let me peel off some of this plastic so you can see the shine. I did it, I did it over um, the film. So the film's taken away from it a little bit, but you can see it does have a little bit of the gold shimmer, but I'm not, I'm fine with the way it is. I seen um, two different aqua teals that Createx makes, find them on Amazon. One of them is an iridescent and the other one, the other Createx, is on um, like a pearlized or something like that or a metallic and it's really nice it is like super nice and i would love to use that over this the only problem is i'm doing this with a paintbrush 
I'm gonna go through my paint brushes and I'm gonna use a variety of paint brushes and I'm gonna paint this and just, you know, do it from the inside. I'm just gonna dilute these a little bit so I can um, work with it and it's not too thick. And I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, medium, which is really gonna help it stick onto the body. Even though it doesn't need it, it's good enough. The problem is the purple, this purple is too dark. Just like it is on here. The only reason this purple is visible on the black is because I had to modify it in my settings to enhance the colors. But naturally, this is the purple. You don't, you don't even see it. There's purple there and then I put black behind it. So the purple and the black is in here and you can't even see the difference. I don't know, you, can you see the purple, that big blotch of black? You see the purple in the center? Doesn't really stand out. Now you see the second purple, that's like a plum purple and it's got um, some gold shimmer to it. That's the same purple mixed with a little bit of gold. It's like two to one, you know, however much volume you have of this purple, you put half the amount added of this gold. And this is the color right here. And it looks good and it flows because this purple is actually transparent. You can see that above the white. And this aqua teal is not. So the gold works with this one and it lightens it up. So that when I come and I put it next to the black, you can actually see the purple next to the black. Because this, this car is going to be black. So after I paint, after I paint the teal, with the fluorescent red and stuff and it dries i'm going to come back and i'm going to draw the layout for this purple but i'm going to mix it with the gold so that this will be my purple and then i'm just going to um rattle can the rest of it black and i'm done with the body with the exception of you know masking off the windows and the center portion of the hood and not masking off my headlights i might I know if I was thinking about shooting candy on these lenses, but then I just thought to myself, I'm gonna the stickers, I'm gonna put the stickers on them the way the stickers go. I'm gonna cut out the circles in them, right? I'm gonna put the light in, and then the center portion to complete the sticker, I'm gonna stick it onto the light, both the amber one and the red one so that it kind of camouflages the fact that there was a plastic lens like an led light and i was just gonna paint this red or maybe just put the sticker and leave it alone then just put the lights because i need to do something with the rest of this because it can't be a void but i'm gonna use the stickers in the meantime and if it doesn't look good i'll remove the sticker from the front of the lights but i'm still gonna have the sticker on the back portion i'm still gonna be doing that want to be able to get the skyline to light up and I have a couple ways of doing it the only problem is it's not embossed that much because I could paint these in or I could just paint it from the back and then remove the paint from the surfaces of the letterings in the back because it's embossed but they don't have that much definition so the S has the least amount of definition on it so that's where I'm at, that's what I'm doing. These are my colors, that's the plan. And I just wanted to share that. So I'm gonna end this video here so I can get back to what I was doing and stick around so you can just continue watching the steps of this project. You don't wanna miss when it's done because it really is gonna be amazing.